here. All right, Commerce. Commerce, Commerce is coming up to the stage. Coach Bailiff in the house along Richard Jr., offensive tackle, Amon, Amon Simon. Amon, ah, see, look, I corrected. I was thinking Amon G. Carter. It's Amon Simon. Like Amon Green. I should know that. I'm from Omaha. Uh, Richard Jr., safety, Dominique Ramsey. And I believe that is it. Coach Bailiff, welcome. How are you doing? Listen, I'll be the first to say it. College football is always better with David Bailiff in it. Am I right? Am I right? Listen, well, I mean, you, well, I was a little pup covering him at Rice. I was like the scare. You probably don't remember me, but welcome back to. Great to be here. I'm working at a great university. You are, and you're filling some pretty big shoes. Colby. Yeah, Colby did a great job. I, I called him right when I got this job, and I said, couldn't you just won nine one year? I mean, he had won ten three years in a row. Expectations are high, uh, and I look forward to it. It is a, we have a great president, have a great athletic director, got some fantastic young men on this football team, and I'm blessed to be the head coach there. Absolutely love it. Uh, 61 years old, but when you get to hang out with 18 to 22, I thought I was 24. Uh, they finally said, Coach, you know you got gray hair and you got to slow down a little bit. But I do. When you love what you do, you don't get old. Um, I can't imagine doing anything else. Uh, you know, you do. You love it. You get out of bed every morning. Can't wait to go to work. Uh, I didn't bring the most talented. I brought the most handsome. We had a poll uh, of who are the two best-looking guys on the team. And so they wanted offensive and defensively. Best hair. Volumizing shampoo. Ah. Uh, really <laughs> helps. Have to, we'll have to trade secrets yeah. a little later. Really helps. <laughs> Listen, I, w I want you to introduce them. Who are these two this gentlemen? Is Dominique Ramsey. Uh, he is an All-American punt returner, an all-conference free safety, plays football at a million miles an hour, uh, one of the hardest workers I've ever been around. Amon Simon is a first-team all-conference left tackle as a sophomore, so they're both juniors. Uh, so not only are they handsome, they both really are pretty good football players too. <laughs> uh, so their poster, I mean, if you ask for volunteers, their hands go up. Uh, you know, anything you need, these two are ready to go. And I admire him for that. And we have a bunch of guys on the team that are just like him. Colby really left us with a good culture. Uh, you know, there's a good blueprint there. And it's the first job I've ever had, you know, that's winning. And so it's, it's unique. The ones I'd taken over before were rebuilding. This is one where we just have to sustain. And somehow the expectation is to compete for conference championships, national championships. And that's what the city expects. That's what the university expects. That's what these young men expect. And you know what? The coaches in this room, I've known a lot of them for a, lo a long time. There is more parity in this conference, I think, than people realize, especially listening that four-year starters. You know, I think it's going to be an unbelievable competitive year in the Lone Star Conference. Uh, and really, a couple of these guys, we go back where we were dashingly handsome and, <laughs> and, uh, and young, thought we were pretty good looking. And uh, So I've known some of them 20, 30 years, and, and you know, they're great coaches. And you, you sit in the room with these other, other coaches that I'm getting to know, wonderful coaches in this league. And Jay's done a, a big-time job of uh, growing this Lone Star Conference, and, you know, it gets more exciting. You know, every time there's a news release, it's more exciting. Yeah, you and you are a, you are an LFC guy. You you I you're, played in the Lone Star Conference. Yeah. How have you seen it evolve? The since, uh, say that again. How have you seen this conference evolve since those oh, playing days? I'm going bold. <laughs> <laughs> you two have some nice letters. It might be gray, but you got a head full of hair. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that. I was wondering where you were seeing it. You know, it has evolved. Okay, I've got that. Uh, <laughs> I think it's evolved. You know where you just listen to his announcements right, you know, right there. You look at the, the NFL players uh, on, on teams. Uh, you look at, uh, you know, the quarterback from uh, Commerce two years ago, mm -hmm. Louis Perez, that won the Harlan Hill. You know, it continues to attract a high-caliber athlete. And you're exactly right. There's nothing D2 about this conference. They're attracting Division I athletes. And, you know, you, you look and you listen to these coaches. They're graduating them. Uh, they're playing competitive football. Uh, you know, it's it's a, a lot of fun. You know, I, I went and got my old uh, conference championship <clears throat> ring from when I was a player at Southwest Texas uh, that is now Texas State. Uh, and, you know, you look at it and, you know, you, you have those goals here. I remember when I first got my, my first ring and how proud I, I was to, to get a conference ring. 
and you look back at it and you reminisce, and I know how these guys, you know, feel when they get the rings. We actually talked about it uh, driving over here today. But, uh, you know, like I said, I get out of bed every morning, three-point stance. Wife says, set up. I go to work. <laughs> and uh, can't imagine doing anything else. For so Somehow I totally believe that, too. He really does. Um, uh, Amon, I want to begin with you. First of all, I see you're actually wearing the Oh, you both are wearing the bling. Okay. So here's the thing, as he yeah, mentioned, yeah. he walks into a successful program when I mean, you guys are fresh off a, a national championship two years ago. Having tasted that and, and seen the top, how has that changed your motivation moving forward? I mean, we see what it takes to get there. So, I mean, everybody's bought in. Everybody knows we have to work to get to that point. So I feel like from last year to now, everybody is on the same page. I would say I don't feel like everybody was on the same page last year, which our record speaks for it. So, I mean. How, how have you seen, uh, I, I don't know, he and Colby are seeming more alike. The more I get to talk to him here, he and Colby are a lot alike. But what, what, what maybe, you, how would you um, compare Coach Bailiff and, and Coach Carthel and the cultures that you guys have there? I mean, they both, I think both coaches really, like, they both got a, a good sense of humor. For me as a player, and I know I could probably speak for, for most players in there, when you have a coach who, who acts like he wants to be there, then it makes the game so much so much better, you know. So me having a, a coach that I can I can go to Coach Bailiff and talk to him about anything and just joke with him and, and play around. You can't do that with every coach, you know. So, I mean, that's how I feel about him. He's a good dude. <laughs> <laughs> Good dude. Dominique, how about you? How would you compare him, Coach Carthel, and, and, and the fact that you guys have been able to maintain that success? Well, one thing I know, um, we prepare for every game like uh, it's going to be our last game. We prepare for every game um, the same. And then as far as the coaches go, uh, they're all passionate. They're all, they love the game. He wakes up in a three-point stance. I mean, that right there shows you, like, He's very passionate about the game. Uh, Coach Carter was too, so it's very fun to be around. How would you describe what Coach Bailiff is doing, though? He's bringing in a new system, and we all have to buy into it. Um, that's the thing we're most eager to do. Like, we've had new coaches and stuff, but uh, for everybody to change, we're all eager to get out there and learn a new system and just play against everybody. Uh, the exact same. Play our game. Well, and I know you, Dominique, set the LSE record for punt returns in a season last year. We're 36, plus took two of those to the house. Um, how do you do it? The, the return game is something not all are cut out to, to be a part of. Mm -hmm. How are you able to have success there? I got a lot of blockers, a lot of good blockers. Um, my main job is just to catch the ball. And once I catch the ball, I look up and there's a bunch of guys, you know, riding for me every time. A um, bunch of blocks, alleys, any way I want to go, like it's there for me. So uh, I'd say my team. I mean, my team is the biggest impact for me. And I just try to play my role for it. And I know you were just a sophomore. It's crazy to think you were just a sophomore yes, last year. Um, how have you grown in the last year? How have you changed as a player? Um. I mean, I'd say I, I'm becoming more of a leader. You know, last year, I mean, not last year, but I was a, a redshirt freshman traveling. So I got to see, like, how everything is supposed to be done. Or if I didn't like something, I get to see what I want to change. So, I mean, me saying that just just made me have a a, a better outlook, I guess, on things. I don't know. <laughs> I, that's it. Now, you're, you know, taking over commerce here, and these guys are walking around with this bling. I mean, how, mu how much pressure does that put on you? If, you know, they're looking at you, Coach, like, hey, we want another. You know what? I do, too. <laughs> you know, what they, what they don't, we're going to learn, though, that if you shake his hand, it hurts him. <laughs> you know, you uh, got to wear those like, things. Or, yeah, to, like, hold your hand, but hold they can't get their, their – actually, it's so they can't get their billfolds out of their back pocket. I have, they've made me buy breakfast. Uh, but, no, I, I – uh, it's got to be every coach's goal, uh, you know, to wear it to win a ring yearly. Uh, that's the beauty of this sport is, you know, every, every year, regardless of what happened the last season, uh, there's, there's power in success, there's power in failure. 
Uh, and fortunately, right now, we've, we've had a lot of success around there. And it, it's my job, that, and I take it very seriously, that, that we have to meet those expectations. Uh, and I think we will. And like I said, you win your locker room first. You win when you win your locker room. We've got a beautiful locker room. We've got a great culture. And I'm counting on these leaders to help me sustain it. Listen, Colby said there was no better guy for the job. So welcome back to the game, and we can't wait for the season. Thanks Great so much for being here today, Coach. Hey, thanks, guys, so thanks, much. Guys. Let's give it up for AM Commerce.